Hello, good afternoon everyone. On this the second day of season 1 presentation from the paper number 102 literature of the neoclassical period, I choose the topic Pamela or Shamela. Here is my personal information and now let's take a look on the both the authors. First one is Samuel Richardson uh, was uh, born, uh, baptized in 1689 and died in 1761. And he was a novelist and printer and also considered as the founder of English novel. Here is uh, here are his uh, famous and notable works. Second one, uh, second is Henry Fielding was born in 1707 and died in 1754. And he was a novelist and playwright also with Richardson considered as the founder of the English novel and uh, his uh, notable works. Now Pamela, Pamela or Virtue Rewarding. The full title of this uh, novel is Pamela or Virtue Rewarded by Samuel Richardson, published in 1740. The genre of this novel is epistolary novel and psychological fiction. Pamela is based on a story about a servant and the man who failing to seduce her and in the end of this novel marries her. Pamela is often credited as the first English novel. The Shamela. Full title of this novel is uh, Shamela. An Apology for the Life of Mrs. Shamela Andrews, written by Henry Fielding and published in 1741, was a, is a parody, satire, and humorous fiction. Shamela published under the pseudonym Connie Kiber. Fielding transformed Richardson's virtuous servant girl into a predatory fortune, a fortune hunter who called Bradley lures her lustful wealthy master into matrimony. Now the now, uh, with a minor uh, differentiation, uh, the both characters are uh, similar. The first is Pamela, and in the Shamela, there is a name of the character is Shamela Andrews. Mr. B in the Shamela uh, introduced us as a square Bobby. Mrs. Uh, then Williams uh, is introduced as a reward William in Shamela, and the mother of uh, Pamela, Mrs. Elizabeth Andrews. Introduce us in Shamela as a Henrietta Maria Honora Andrews. Now let's uh, see what is a difference between Pamela and Shamela, which make these both novels different from each other. That Pamela is to have pride and virtue. In the other hand, Shamela exposes as a prostitute who plays the role of virtuous serving girl. Her husband is introduced as Mr. B and remains as Mr. B till the end. But in Shamela, he introduced, as I uh, already said, as a, a square Bobby in Shamela. Pamela rejects the proposal of Mr. B so many times and uh, says her virtue in Pamela. But in Shamela, she tries to seduce uh, square Bobby for his money. She wrote letters to her father and mother. But in Shamela, she wrote letters to her mother only. There is no reference of his father in Shamela. She wrote uh, letters very cleverly and used uh, witful words in Pamela. And in Shamela, uh, Shamela wrote uh, letters in very broken language and used Cockney words. Uh, uh, Cockney is a native, uh, native language of East London. Richardson's Mr. B became feminized in Pamela, but in Shamela, Fielding masculines the character of Shamela. Other than Shamela, that uh, uh, the first one, the anti Pamela or faint innocence, uh, detected is a uh, in 1741 novel by Eliza Haywood, is a satire on Pamela. And the second one, Joseph Andrews, again written by Henry Fielding. The full title of this uh, work is The History of the Adventures of Joseph Andrews, of his friend Mr. Abraham Adams, published in 1742. Now, uh, of course, it is a written, uh, written uh, rivalry. These are good examples of rivalry. The anti Pamela and jo Joseph Andrews are a good example of rivalry, unlike happening in the modern time in the form of chemical and civil wars. Instead of religious war, which killed so many people, it is way better to fight with force. This uh, work wrought in uh, so many, uh, so many uh, different forms. We can uh, write it, but in modern times, uh, we, we cannot able to find this type of rivalry books. Here are my recitation of images and information. Thank you.
Uite, mai crezi și un rai de pamei la sau orice o să adă din cea mai mare. Why Pamela Vachy is rather than Shamela? The character, this both character written on a perspective of a Henry Fielding and Samuel Richardson. So the point of view of this both character represent their author. So what uh, Samuel Richardson say, uh, he, rep uh, he represented uh, as a Pamela, that uh, what uh, a woman in his mind that should be virtuous and this kind of uh, habit uh, she has. And in Shamela, she, uh, Henry Fielding parody uh, of the uh, Pamela character that uh, why a woman has to be so virtuous and uh, in Shamela, that's why he uh, represented Shamela as a bold and uh, a very, you know, a Bold and uh, intelligent. Pooja, why Henry Fielding brought Shamela? There is any need of writing. Why Henry wrote Shamela? Um, writers have so many perspectives. He was not uh, uh, not able to accept the idea of Pamela of a virtuous girl. That's why uh, it's a point that uh, he he wrote this work, his Shamela, not a uh, uh, purpose of a, a personal, not uh, any personal purpose here, but uh, he cannot able to accept this uh, uh, point that. Uh, Women should have this type of uh, habits and virtues and all this thing. That's why uh, he wants to give an example that a woman has to be this too. Because uh, there are uh, so many types of different personalities in this uh, time. So uh, he wrote that's why uh, that's why modern literature cannot able to find this kind of work also. <laughs>